Have you ever heard of a superfood that is richer in protein than beef, loaded with vitamins, and has been touted as the food of the future? Are you wondering what this nutrient-dense food could be? Could it possibly be something that you've overlooked? Well, prepare to be amazed because today, we are diving into the world of spirulina. Stick around until the end of the video to find all the answers. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. We provide exclusive content regularly, offering insights into the science of food and nutrition that could potentially change your life. Very very okay, space food. Due to its high nutritional density, NASA and the European Space Agency are researching the use of spirulina as a dietary supplement for astronauts on long-term space missions. Can you imagine spirulina becoming the space food of the future? Ancient Food Source Spirulina is not a recent discovery. It was used as a food source by the Aztecs and other Mesoamericans until the 16th century. They called it Tequilitl, meaning the stone's excrement, referring to the algal bloom's appearance. Environmentally friendly, spirulina might play a vital role in fighting climate change. It's a photosynthetic organism, meaning it uses sunlight to convert carbon dioxide into oxygen. So growing spirulina could help reduce carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Rapid growth. Spirulina is among the fastest growing plants on Earth. It can replicate itself every three to four days, making it a sustainable and renewable source of nutrition. Spirulina is being studied as a supplement for astronauts because of its incredibly high nutritional value. It's densely packed with a wide array of essential nutrients including protein, vitamins, especially B vitamins, and minerals. Also, the protein in spirulina is highly digestible and bioavailable, meaning the body can readily use it. This makes it a highly efficient source of nutrition. Beyond its nutritional benefits, spirulina also has a few other characteristics that make it appealing for space missions. Space efficient. Spirulina grows in water and needs only sunlight and a few simple nutrients to flourish. This makes it possible to cultivate spirulina in space with relatively minimal resources. Fast growing. Spirulina reproduces rapidly and can double its biomass every two to three days. This means a small amount of spirulina could potentially provide a lot of food over a long period. Oxygen production. As a photosynthetic organism, Spirulina consumes carbon dioxide and produces oxygen, which could potentially help manage the air supply in a spacecraft. Radiation protection. Preliminary research suggests that the antioxidants in spirulina might help protect against radiation damage, which is a significant concern for astronauts. This blue-green alga, found in both fresh and salt water, is one of the oldest life forms on Earth. But how has this tiny microorganism become a focus in the field of health and wellness? Several studies have shed light on the exceptional health benefits of spirulina. For instance, a 2018 study published in the Journal of Medical Pharmaceutical Research revealed that spirulina has anti-cancer, antiviral, and anti-allergic effects. Another study, published in the Journal of Functional Foods in 2020, showed that spirulina is great for heart health because it can lower bad LDL cholesterol levels and increase good HDL cholesterol levels. Are you worried about your blood sugar levels? A research article published in the Journal of Diabetes Research in 2016 found that spirulina might help manage diabetes, thanks to its antioxidant properties. Did you know that spirulina is considered a high-quality protein source? A study published in the Journal of Applied Phycology in 2017 confirmed that spirulina contains all the essential amino acids, making it a complete protein. This makes it particularly interesting for those who follow a plant-based diet. But how do you consume spirulina? Can you include it in your everyday meals? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this and answer all the burning questions you have about this wonder algae. Also, we will address potential side effects and who should avoid consuming spirulina. Yes, despite its health benefits, spirulina isn't for everyone, and we think it's important that you understand why. Now that we've outlined some of the potential health benefits, you might be wondering, 
How can I incorporate spirulina into my daily diet? As a supplement, spirulina comes in several forms, such as powder, tablets, or capsules, and each form provides unique opportunities for incorporation into your meals. Let's look at the most common form, spirulina powder. Its vibrant green color may look a little intimidating, but the flavor is quite neutral and blends seamlessly with many foods. You can start by adding a spoonful of spirulina powder to your morning smoothie, mixing it into your oatmeal, or sprinkling it on your salads. For those who like to experiment in the kitchen, you can even add spirulina to your homemade pasta dough for a nutrient boost. But is spirulina safe for everyone? As I mentioned earlier, spirulina isn't for everyone. Although generally considered safe for most people, some individuals might experience side effects like headaches, allergic reactions, muscle pain, or even liver damage. Therefore, if you're pregnant, have an autoimmune condition, or suffer from phenylketonuria, it's advisable to consult your healthcare provider before incorporating spirulina into your diet. Did you know that spirulina can even have a positive impact on your mental health? A 2018 study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychopharmacology showed that spirulina might help improve mental health conditions, particularly in those with depression and anxiety. However, more research is needed in this area to establish these effects conclusively. But the potential of spirulina doesn't stop there. A 2020 study published in the Journal of Applied Psychology found that spirulina can enhance athletic performance by increasing muscle strength and endurance. If you're an athlete or generally active individual, this might be a game changer for you. Overall, spirulina appears to be a promising supplement with multiple health benefits, making it a valuable addition to a balanced diet. However, as with any supplement, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before introducing it into your regimen. Potential side effects and considerations when taking spirulina, especially for vegans and vegetarians. Spirulina is often touted as a rich source of vitamin B12, a nutrient that's essential for the body's nerve function and the production of DNA and red blood cells. However, it's crucial to note that the form of B12 found in spirulina is not bioavailable. This means that it's not usable by the human body and may even interfere with the absorption of B12 from other sources, potentially leading to a deficiency. This can be particularly problematic for vegans and vegetarians who may rely on supplements like spirulina as their primary source of B12, as deficiency can lead to various health issues, including neurological disorders and anemia. Moreover, spirulina's detoxifying properties, while beneficial, may also lead to some unpleasant side effects, particularly if consumed in large amounts or if the body is not accustomed to it. It can trigger symptoms such as headaches, fever, digestive discomfort, and even a rash in some people. It's therefore crucial to approach spirulina consumption with caution, particularly for those on a vegan or vegetarian diet. Eating a very diet rich in whole foods and consuming spirulina in moderation is key to ensure a balance of nutrients. More importantly, before starting any supplement regimen, including spirulina, it's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian to ensure it's safe and suitable for your specific needs. Remember, while spirulina has numerous potential health benefits, it's not a magic bullet. A balanced, varied diet, coupled with a healthy lifestyle, is still the best approach to good health. We hope this video provides you with the insights you need about spirulina. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more health and wellness information. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you won't miss our next video. Stay healthy and informed with us. Your wellness journey continues here. The information provided in this video is intended for educational purposes only and should not replace advice from your healthcare provider. Always consult a healthcare professional before making any changes to your diet or health routine. Very, very okay. Thanks for watching.